don't you dare it! Hi friends, welcome to another episode. Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about the episode of our Jasper and Pagdi trip. Today we are going to talk about sky walking. Sky walking is very important. That is Jasper and Pagdi trip. Jasper is going to be a big deal. We are going to sky walking. We are going to go to Jasper and Pagdi trip. We are going to talk about the same thing. അപ്പം ഏകദേശം വൈകുന്നേരം വൈകുന്നത് ഏഴ് മണിയാകുമ്പോൾ അടയ്ക്കും അതിനിപ്പുറം ഞങ്ങൾ പെട്ടെന്ന് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടിക്കറ്റ് എടുത്ത് സനീഷ് ഞങ്ങളെ പെട്ടെന്ന് വിളിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് പോവുകയാണ് ബോർഡിങ്ങിന് സമയമായി ഇതൊരുമാതിരി നമ്മൾ എന്താ പറയുക എയർപോർട്ടിലോട്ടൊക്കെ പോകുന്നതുപോലെ ഉണ്ട് അതുപോലെയാണ് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഇവർ ബസ് കയറ്റിക്കൊണ്ട് പോയി ഇവിടെ അല്ല അടുത്തല്ല സ്കൈ വാക്ക് കുറച്ചും കൊണ്ട് മാറിയാണ് അപ്പോൾ അതിന് വേണ്ടി ബസ് ബോർഡ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള സമയമായി അങ്ങോട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ പോവുകയാണ് Reserved, reserved. Bye bye. Go, go, go. Kitchen, huh? I'm just here. Yeah, you see. No, 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 not too bad. സ്കൈ വാക്ക് കൂടാതെ ഇവിടെ തന്നെ നമുക്ക് ഗ്ലേഷ്യർ എക്സ്പ്ലോർ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് മേളിൽ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് അതാണ് അതപാസ്ക ഗ്ലേഷ്യേഴ്സ് ആണ് കേട്ടോ നമ്മൾ പിന്നെ അങ്ങോട്ട് പോയില്ല കാരണം നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി ലേറ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു ഇന്ന് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് തിരിച്ച് പോകേണ്ട സാസ്കാച്ചുവിനി പോകണമെന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞാണ് ഇറങ്ങി പക്ഷെ നടക്കുമെന്ന് തോന്നില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ കാലിഗിരി സ്റ്റേ ചെയ്യാൻ തീരുമാനിച്ചു And just as we go, I'll point out some cool facts about our surroundings and just how important it is to us. Mm -hmm. So to start off, if you guys look out the left side of the bus, you'll have a really great view of our Athabasca Glacier. Mm -hmm. And you can see some of our massive ice explorers, but from here, they look really small. Mm. And if you're up close to those vehicles, the tires alone are almost six feet tall. So they are massive tires. And just below the glacier is that little lake. So we like to call that the Sunwapta Lake. So that particular lake has a really, really cool, I guess you could say, fact about it. It has a very high concentration of something called rock flour. So when the glaciers move back and forth, they actually grind up the rock into a very, very fine powder. And then if either, if any of you have been to either Lake Louise or Malayne Lake, It's that beautiful turquoise color. That's because of the rock flower that comes from the glaciers. So if we didn't have the rock flower, those lakes would not be blue. Okay. That's why the water is blue color. And just on the left side of us, we're actually following alongside the Sunwapta River. So this particular river is also special because it is very young. And because of that, it has the name braided. So what that means is, if you look at it right now, you'll see that the water is going in a couple of different directions as it travels. And if you came back in about one to two years, oh, it would look totally different than it does right now. And probably my favorite area here. If you look out the right side of the bus, you'll see a lot of massive boulders everywhere. So these boulders are actually 
part of an area that we call the shooting gallery. So this only exists because of the number one erosion factor here in the Rocky Mountains, and that is the freeze-thaw cycle. So whenever we receive rain, it'll get into the cracks of the mountains above. And of course, when water freezes, it'll turn into ice and expand. And then these giant boulders that we see on the side of the road are actually pushed right off of the mountain and will fall at up to speeds of 200 kilometers an hour. So you can just imagine watching some of these massive boulders fly off the mountains. And if you look back on the left side of the bus, you'll actually get a better idea of what I called it a braided river. So you can see all of the different routes that the water's taking and all of the different channels. So in the next couple of years, a lot of these channels where the water is going right now will not have water anymore and they'll dry right up. And I love to ask, is anybody afraid of heights? Yeah. yeah? All right. Well, if you look directly in front of us, you can see our skywalk hanging over the valley. <laughs> so our skywalk is 280 meters or 1,000 feet above the ground, which is pretty incredible. But if it does help, our skywalk is able to hold our entire fleet of ice explorers. So that is 21 three-ton buses. Or if you want a more exciting fact, it can actually hold 2.4 million squirrels. <laughs> so it can hold a lot of weight. So as we are getting closer, I'll just let you guys know that we do have free audio tours available for you today. And they come in five different languages. So we have English, French, Japanese, Mandarin, and Korean. Down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can get the perfect view of the glass from here. Oh my god. It's pretty incredible. Alright guys, so I do just ask if you can get your tickets ready as someone will scan them right away. And once your tickets are scanned, you're all set to go on to the go. Awesome, and in just a few seconds you guys are going to hear a loud beeping sound. It's just so I can make the sharp turn up ahead. ടിക്കറ്റുണ്ടോട്ടോ <laughs> അവരെ നേരത്തെ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തില്ലായിരുന്നോ വണ്ടിയിൽ വെച്ച് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ലാംഗ്വേജസിൽ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളുടെ ആൾക്കാർക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ഇത് ഓരോ സ്ഥലത്ത് നമ്പർ എഴുതി വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ നമ്പർ പ്രസ് ചെയ്ത് അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് അവർ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യും അതാണ് ആ ഒരു ഫോണിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകത ഇതിവിടെ റോക്കീസ് കണ്ടുവരുന്ന ബേർഡ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് അവർ എഴുതി വെച്ചേക്കുന്നതാണേ അപ്പം ഇതാണ് നമ്മുടെ സ്കൈ വാക്കിംഗ് 
What is that? <laughs> what is that? 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 It's not water, it's glass. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Let's go. 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 They know a million number of taro to know a malpentry in Saketra Churda Noka, Churri Kunu Kuna over at a two thousand feet sung and a bow on the lavial parnid. Amo. A steam experience on a toing in a glass and a meal could endure in the birds, chamberle, birds sang in a puna, though birds and a weaving in a letaro. Sirica Dinda Noka wishes a catatoru. A lot of experience I don't that's why I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, we have to give that back. Samayam aru mani ay. Nangala Lake Louis lakhe kare pono na kavi jayrichhe. Saskatchewa na tam patta dilu. Karnam naala eni ke vaynaran jolly onda. Onda naala raavaling ke letti patta na vada. Milaryon tired ay. Pevde alini hotel hotel booki ay na. So, if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this episode, please explain the color of the water. Please explain the color of the water. If you like this video, please like this video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.